Hello YouTubers, I'm back from a uh, little break from the hobby. I had uh, some other things uh, going, so I'm starting up again with the uh, scenery around the uh, northwest uh, mountain area here. And as you can see, uh, I pretty much have all the rocks in place where I want them to be, leaving some uh, empty space for dirt and grass, maybe some shrubbery to show through. I did uh, use a combination of hydrocal and sculpt mold to fill in the uh, gaps between the rocks, as you can see. And in the meantime, I had some. Uh, AC problems. I had to have the uh, AC serviced, which called for a separation of the uh, train table here. And uh, went along nicely. I just unbolted it, but I did have to cut into the track. Let's see here be able to separate it at that point. Now what I did before I cut the track, I uh, CA'd everything down using a uh, CA or uh, super glue, a thin uh, brand. And that basically held the, uh, the rails in place. Otherwise, once you cut on a curve, these two rails are gonna pop out but using the CA and a combination of uh, a couple of uh, track nails, one here and one over here, basically uh, kept everything nice and tight and allowing for uh, no derailment. Now to paint the uh, rocks, I'm going to basically use uh, what's been published out there, uh, Big E61, basically going to follow his, uh, his method of uh, using acrylic washes. Uh, I'll probably uh, go with a maybe 15, 20% paint to 80% water. Uh, basically going to stick with the uh, pewter gray, the black, and in a combination of uh, either country tan, nutmeg brown, or uh, raw sienna, or burnt umber. We'll see how uh, that works out. Well, as you can see, uh, the color really brings out the uh, life in these rocks. And I just ended up using about, I don't know, about, like I said, 20% acrylic paint to uh, rest with water. And just make sure that you don't go too dark, because you can always darken it later. But if you go too dark, to try to lighten it up, it's going to be uh, a lot more difficult, probably impossible. unless you start over again. This is just the first color and all it is is a uh, pewter gray. I got these paints uh, at Walmart. They're like a buck something, two dollars I think, uh, for these bottles. Okay, so here's the uh, first coat of uh, pewter gray wash. And this is uh, without the, uh, the black wash, which will highlight the cracks and crevices in the rock. Now in this area here, 
I started using spackling to fill the gaps and as you can see the wash does not adhere well to the spackling so I will not be using spackling anymore I'll be using a combination of uh, sculpt mold which I did on this area and uh, some hydrocal thinned out where I need to get into tight places as you can see looks a lot better a more uniform uh, finish also make sure that uh, you give it a second coat just to get the undersides of some of the rock for instance right here you can still see the uh, white hydrocal shining uh, through the bottom I also left uh, this area uh, unpainted because uh, I'm going to need to add some more flat rocks in this area here and down in here as the embankment is too steep to uh, support it without any uh, rocks in place. So it's coming along. Stay tuned for uh, the next video on uh, this segment.